Okay, so what we're doing today is to lengthen hair with a hint of color. How to lengthen, add length to braids. to break it a little bit by adding a hint of color to the tip. So this is like a deep dye look and it's very subtle. Okay, so remember what we've done here, we've added extra length to this, which makes this hair longer and we didn't just want to add just length, we added color to give it a deep dye look. So any color could have been used, we just chose to go with a hint of navy blue. So this design is a pineapple color. So if you look in here, we've done that, which we've done in so many of our videos. Arch the designs. Arch them up. And they are all going to the crown. And in the middle here, we start with a hint of single plugs. Now what this does, it gives a body. Okay, so what we're doing here is just slanting our hands when we create the strands, the cornrow strands. Now, what you could have done, you could have also gone straight if you wanted, but I usually look at my client's hairline before I decide what I want to do. And besides, I really do not like straight look because it's too, it's too plain. So I kind of like a hint of slant or sometimes a really deep slant. So you see that? And so now I'll create my colors working with that. And if you watch this channel a lot, again, I do not really like just basic cornrows. I like to give it a hint of Ghana cornrow beginning. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> but the focus of this video is not about the Ghana cornrow. The focus is adding the light. So with Ghana cornrow, you always go to the smallest part of the section. Now remember, if your client hasn't got good hairline, do not go with the color because it causes a lot of Okay, so now I'm at the crown and I just want to add some hair to give it volume at this stage. So the hair comes just like you do the Ghana comb. But when I turn my hands to pick the hair, I drop that backwards. And I carry on, the hair still hanging there, then I put it back in my hands. So that's how you add hair. You see that? It's not showing that I added anything. Now, I only just added that just to give myself for the I'm going to show you when I add it for that. Okay, so I'm here now. You can see the hair is really thinning out. So again, I want to give it a bit more volume. So I bring my new hair and I take it in. Just add it there. Hold it down. Let go of the other end of the hair. Braid. And add it back. Now 
now what you wanna avoid is adding when you add in the hair don't add hair that's heavier than the size of the hair that you want to add it to what i mean is if it's too heavy it sticks out so now i'm here i want to put a hint of length and um, color into this hair now. so for me at this stage it's not so much about the length because i've added the length and so this is my color so i put it in straight into my hand just like i did before Carry on. So what that does is it gives us a good tip that look like this a hint of color at the end. Now we're gonna do more videos on this in future because I really love this. I'm adding just another little bit more just to make my color stick out a bit more. So So we'll be getting more adventurous with colors as we carry on, not, not just this color that's very subtle. We'll be making it brighter and brighter with time. But that's how you add color and that's how you add length. So adding color, adding length, do your head of braids, that's what this video is about. Okay, so this is just to show you how far we've gone with our design. Thank you. 